Hey guys, before we start chapel, I just want to congratulate some of the students that are graduating. If you're in K-5 and fifth grade and you're graduating, I want to congratulate you all. Um, for those in K-5, you're going to first grade. I'm so excited for you all. Miss Heidi's going to be awesome. You guys are going to like her. Uh, congratulations. Mini high fives because you're all very short. And you guys make me look like a giant, which is very rare. But thank you. Thank you for making me look like a giant. Um, I remember my K-5 graduation with Ms. Lopez. Um, it was awesome. We were doing, like, everyone in my class had to say something about the alphabet, and I had the letter T. And I remember what I had to say. I had to say, I, I had to say, T is for toys that we use when we play. It also means teachers who we love and obey. So yes, Ms. Lopez, I still remember my line from my K-5 graduation, and that was like, 22 years ago <laughs> so yes that's awesome those of you in fifth grade congrats you're going to sixth grade you're no longer the big dogs you now you small dogs now you guys are puppies well, middle school is gonna be exciting don't worry you're gonna have fun I remember my fifth grade graduation again with Miss Lopez <laughs> I I think she's been involved in probably 50% of my graduations <laughs> but yeah, no, congratulations guys. You guys are gonna have a great time in middle school and soon you'll, you'll be doing your eighth grade graduation. So yeah, congratulations to all those graduating. Hello everyone. Congratulations to all the classes that are graduating this year in 2020. Congratulations to the kindergarten class. Yay, you did it. And now you're moving on to first grade. Hey guys. <laughs> Hey, seniors and um, everybody that's graduating, congratulations. Thank you once again for allowing us to uh, have the privilege to be able to uh, teach you. And um, uh, seniors, we're gonna miss you. Eighth grade and kindergarten, congratulations on your graduation. And I hope everyone has an awesome summer, stay healthy, and we love you. Once again, thank you guys. And, uh, why am I saying thank you? <laughs> Leon! I say thank you. Okay. All right, take two. Congratulations, class of 2020! Woo! Hey guys, welcome to Chapel at Home with your boy, Pastor Link. This is the last chapel of the year, and it's a bittersweet moment for me. Bitter because you guys aren't gonna see me forever. I mean, not forever. There's some of you who I might not see ever again. Um, some of you at least I'll see after the summer break, so that's cool. But I won't see you guys for a while or I might not even see some of you. So that's bitter. Sweet, because it's summer and I'm excited for that. I hope, I know you guys are excited for it too. So that's why it's bittersweet, guys. Ugh, happy and sad at the same time. I hope you all remember what I spoke of last week, judging. Jesus teaches us not to judge other people. Jesus is the ultimate teacher, right? And remember, he is having his ultimate teaching moment and it's called the Sermon on the Mount. And Jesus is teaching to a large crowd, a multitude of people. Today, we end our series with another one of Jesus' teachings found in Matthew chapter seven. Matthew 7.12 says, do for other people the same things you want them to do for you. If we are going to summarize everything that we have learned so far, everything that Jesus has taught us in the Sermon on the Mount, is we can do it in this sentence, in this verse. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 12, do for other people the same thing you want them to do for you. Some people call this the most important rule. Others call this the golden rule. The golden rule is simple. Treat people the way you want to be treated. If you want your family and friends to treat you nicely, then you have to treat your family and friends nicely. If you want your family and friends to forgive you when you make a mistake, then you have to forgive them when they make a mistake. Do you get it? The way you treat people is the way you want people to treat you. This rule is important because the way you treat people is the way you show God's love to people. Did you know that? Did you know that the way you treat people helps other people know that God loves them? When you treat people well, the way you want to be treated, people see that and they start, they start asking themselves, why is this person treating me so nicely? Why is this person treating me so different? 
there must be something different about this person and I don't know what it is. People can notice a difference when you have God in your heart. If someone is being mean to you, instead of being mean back to them, treat them the way you want to be treated. So instead of, if someone's being mean to you, instead of saying mean things back to them, show them God's love. So if someone is being mean to you, instead of treating them bad like how they're treating you, treat them with love. Treat them the way you want to be treated. And by doing this, the next time, that person won't be mean to you because instead of paying them back with mean words, you pay them back with the love of God. And this makes you different than anyone else. Because instead of being like normal people, you're showing how much God, how God lives in your heart and you're showing God's love to everyone. And this, this is valuable. This is crazy. People, when people see this, they, they're amazed. And this is what Jesus can do in your heart. God's love can change people. And this is why we need to treat people the way we want to be treated. Love others the way you want to be loved and the world will know that you have God in your heart. By showing, by loving people the way you want to be loved, you are telling everyone that God loves them. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, teach us to treat people the way we want to be treated. Teach us to love people the way you love us. Help us to show your love to the world through our actions. Amen. All right, guys. It's the last chapel of the year. I'm going to miss you all so very much. Mwah. Many kisses. Mwah, 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 mwah. Have a great summer. Have fun. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Put on a lot of hand sanitizer. Put on a mask anytime you go out. Put on goggles because you know you don't want to get the virus in your eye. Just kidding. I don't know if that's actually a thing. But stay safe, guys. Have a great summer. I'm going to miss you. See you all in August. And yeah, remember, Jesus loves you. The way you treat people is the way you show people how much Jesus loves them. Mwah. Teachers, thank you for everything. You're all awesome. And see you all next year.